What is electrolysis? By kscience.com Electrolysis is a process which uses electricity to break down an ionic compound into its individual components. Electro means electricity, so electrolysis uses electricity. And lysis means to break down. So electrolysis means to use electricity to break something down into smaller pieces. Electrolysis is normally used to break down ionic compounds into the individual metals and non-metals. Electrolysis is very useful. It allows us to extract metals and non-metals from their ionic compounds. This allows us to use metals in objects such as cars, bikes, electrical circuits, and we extract non-metals such as oxygen, hydrogen, and then sodium hydroxide to make bleach, along with chlorine as well. Electrolysis can be used to break down this ionic compound, magnesium oxide, which has a chemical formula of MgO. It is made up of Mg2 plus ions, which are called cations, and O2 minus ions, which are called anions. These ions are held together in a regular lattice structure by strong ionic bonds. For electrolysis to work, the ions must be free to move. Now this is a problem because the ions are bonded together and cannot move. This is due to the giant ionic lattice structure which ionic compounds have. The ions are in a regular arrangement where they can only vibrate in a fixed position. As long as the ionic compound is solid, electrolysis cannot work. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. It's the strong ionic bonds which hold the ions in place. Here are four ions, Mg2 plus and O2 minus. These dashed lines represent the strong electrostatic forces of attraction between the oppositely charged ions which keep them in place. For electrolysis to work, these ionic bonds must be broken so the ions are free to move. We're now going to go through two ways of achieving this. One way of breaking the strong ionic bonds is to melt the ionic compound. A lot of heat energy is needed to overcome these strong electrostatic forces of attraction and this makes a molten liquid. Molten means a very hot liquid. Another way is to dissolve the ionic compound in water. This forms an aqueous solution where the ionic bonds are broken without using a lot of heat energy. Just water is required. The ions are now free to move and the state symbol for molten is L in brackets and for aqueous it is AQ in brackets. So once the particle diagram looks something like this, a liquid or aqueous, this means the particles are free to move and electrolysis can now work. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to focus on how electrolysis takes place. This is the cell or power pack, which has a DC supply, meaning direct current. On the left is the positive terminal and on the right is the negative terminal. This wire leads to the negative electrode and this wire leads to the positive electrode. This is the container which contains the electrolyte. 
the electrolyte is the molten or aqueous ionic compound which is broken down using electricity. We're going to focus on the electrolysis of magnesium oxide, which contains the cation Mg2+, and the anion O2-. Magnesium oxide is an insoluble base which does not dissolve in water, so we've melted it using a lot of heat energy to make it molten, a hot liquid where the ions are free to move. The hot molten liquid is then poured into the container where electrolysis is now ready to take place. This is the cell or power pack and has a direct current. On the left is a positive terminal and on the right is the negative terminal. The negative terminal leads to the negative electrode, so here I'm drawing negative signs. Here I'm drawing positive signs as the electrode is connected to the positive terminal of the cell. This is the positive electrode. The negative electrode is known as the cathode and the positive electrode is known as the anode. Electrodes are normally made of graphite or they can be made of expensive metals such as platinum. Graphite is perfect for electrodes as they conduct electricity they're inert, which means they're unreactive, and they have high melting points, so will not melt in the hot molten liquid. This is the electrolyte, represented by the diagram to the left and the pieces of paper representing the ions. The electrolyte is the ionic compound which is being broken down by electrolysis. And whether the electrolyte is aqueous or molten, the ions are always free to move in an electrolyte. Let's now focus on what happens in the electrolyte. The Mg2 plus ions move towards the cathode and the O2 minus ions move towards the anode, where the ions are now separated at each electrode. Anions are attracted to the anode and cations are attracted to the cathode. Oxygen gas formed at the anode and magnesium formed at the cathode. This is how electrolysis works. It uses electricity to break down an ionic compound into its individual elements. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.